Good evening and thanks for joining us. It is now official. Canada has its first confirmed case of the new strain of coronavirus. A man in his mid-50s in Toronto. His wife is also suspected of being ill and is awaiting test results. They are both in isolation and both recently traveled from Wuhan, China, the epicenter of this coronavirus outbreak. I'd like to stress that since arriving in Toronto, this individual has been in self-isolation. As such, the risk to Ontarians remains low. Canadian health authorities say the greatest concern is people who have symptoms of the illness and have traveled to Wuhan or the surrounding Hubei province, where the greatest quarantine in history is underway. That is the epicenter, and it's where the vast majority to have contracted the virus live. The latest numbers from China, there are more than 4,100 confirmed cases now in that country and 106 deaths, most of them in and around Wuhan. There are concerns the number of people carrying the virus but not yet showing symptoms could be far higher. Researchers at Hong Kong University estimate 43,000 people in Wuhan could be carrying it. China's premier met frontline workers in Wuhan today and promised to send 2,500 more medical workers to help. And this is day four of the rushed construction of a special hospital in Wuhan just to house up to 1,000 patients with the virus. There are reports it can be spread by people who are not showing any symptoms, which raises questions about the ability to contain it. That's one of many remaining unknowns about this virus, as Heather Urich's West reports. Canadian health officials say two Canadians have become ill with the new coronavirus linked to a deadly outbreak in China. The two cases are, as you know, um, a married couple who arrived at Pearson International Airport on January 22nd. A man in his 50s, the country's first confirmed case, remains at Sunnybrook Hospital in Toronto. His wife, now considered a presumed case, has a milder form of the illness and is in isolation at home. As of today, she has not been in need of the same acute hospital care required by her husband, who also remains stable. The Public Health Agency of Canada expects to see more cases in the coming days. 19 other patients are being tested for the new strain in Ontario alone. But officials say the risk of an outbreak in Canada remains low. That is the primary message that I want to give Canadians. The risk of contracting coronavirus is low. And I think uh, there are risks of contracting other viruses that are uh, here in Canada that we know a lot about uh, that, is, that are much higher. More public health resources are being deployed to the Toronto, Montreal and Vancouver airports to help screen passengers arriving from China. Anyone returning from Wuhan is being asked if they are ill. Chinese health officials revealed over the weekend that this virus could spread before patients become symptomatic. Canada's chief public health officer says she sees no evidence to support that claim. We certainly need more data to really evaluate the veracity of that claim because certainly it would be extremely unusual for something like that to happen. But the uncertainty surrounding the spread of the new strain of the virus is prompting concern. I'm looking for the face mask to put, put uh, to, um, myself and my family. In Winnipeg, medical masks have become difficult to find, even though health officials believe those kinds of precautions aren't necessary right now. Canada's health minister says she's asked her department to set up a federal 1-800 number to answer questions and clear up confusion about the illness, as the global medical community learns more about the new strain and its spread with each passing day. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary.